Hey guys, welcome back to Jack Watley Discus Hatchery. I'm Gabe Posada. Today, we're going to show you how to install an RO unit. I know that after all the tutorials we've been giving you, everybody's excited. You guys all want to see the eggs hatch. So you're all going to go out and buy an RO unit, whether you buy it from us or whether you buy it from anybody. This is how you're going to do your install. This is how you're going to assemble it when it comes to you because everything is sealed in the box. So it looks very sophisticated. It looks very rough, but it's actually very, very simple to put together. And we just want to show you how it's done. Now, when you receive the RO unit, chances are you're going to get two that look just like this and these are your carbon filters these will take out the chlorine and chloramine so that the chlorine and chloramine will not destroy your membrane now this particular membrane is a 100 gallon per day membrane now sounds like a lot but it's going to take this unit 24 hours to produce 100 gallons so keep that in mind it's not like oh my god i'm buying something huge that I don't need. No, it's gonna take it 24 hours to produce 100 gallons. So a 30 gallon pail will more than likely take about eight hours. You'll also get a sediment filter. This will make sure that there's no particulates or anything that goes straight through and clogs up your membrane. Now, when you first get it, everything will be wrapped up in plastic. We've already taken the plastic out to make things simpler. There are little blue clips all over okay and we're going to show you the clips come out once you have the clip out all you got to do is take your nail push this in and the hose is going to slide right out it's a pressure fitting okay you open this up and make sure that the black rubber seal comes on the outside you slide it right in seal this up again Get it as tight as possible and make sure that it's facing the same way it was when you took it off. You slide the hose back in, pull it, and you'll notice it doesn't come out and that's when you want to slide your clip right back in. Now your membrane's done. Now you got to figure out which is the primary entrance. Your red is where your city water is going to go in. It says in right on the side. Okay. You want to make sure that this is chamber number one. Chamber number one and chamber number two will hold the carbon and the last one will be the sediment filter and that's what we're going to do. They screw right off. Be careful because sometimes these washers fall off. Okay. Slide it in. Put it together. And remember please, the first two, this one and this one are carbon. This is sediment. With our unit, what we did was we had a design for 100 gallons per day with the two carbon stages and the sediment filter. But what we did was to make it easy, we got a garden hose adapter. Now, same principle. Your red is your inlet water. This is the city water. What you're going to do is you're going to slide this right through, pull on it, and it doesn't come out anymore unless you press on it. And this already comes with the washer and everything to hook up to your garden hose. So you can hook it up to the garden hose without any problem whatsoever. The red is your inlet. <clears throat> the blue is the product water. Product water means that this is the one that the RO unit passed through the membrane and this is the low conductivity water that we use for breeding. Now to this, we've ordered a float switch for it. Why a float switch? Because if it takes 24 hours to fill a tank, you're going to need some kind of float that's going to go up and shut this system down once it's full. We suggest using a garbage pail, but for show prep, we're going to use a small bucket. It's very simple. We figured out it's a 716 drill bit. We're going to drill a hole through the side of the bucket. Okay. This is going to go straight. This has got a washer on it and everything. It's already set so that you can do exactly what I'm doing right now. And what you're going to do is you're going to slide this through your big garbage pail. Okay. Once it's in, you put that little threaded nut right on there. And then at the very end, 
you're going to slide this one through. Now this is a pressure seal. So you've already got everything hooked up. You slide this through. Okay, it's got all the washers and everything inside. You insert it and just tighten. And once you start to tighten, you're going to get a water seal right here. Now, the unit is ready to go. I'm going to tell you something. There is a black hose. Now, this particular black hose is the wastewater. This is where all the concentrated minerals are. It's what we call the discharge water, the stuff that you throw away. I'm going to be honest with you. I used to use this discharge water so I wouldn't waste that much water for my grow outs. So if you can set up a second barrel or something to collect this water, remember there's no chlorine in it because it's going through all the carbon. So take advantage of the soft water for breeding and the bad water for growing out. And this is as simple as it comes. So here's your RO unit for 100 gallons. Now if you guys decide to do it on your own and get your own parts and everything, then you're going to need all these things that we're talking about or you're going to be inventing a lot of stuff. All right? We hope that this video kind of helps you guys out. <clears throat> Uh, it was our pleasure bringing it to you, and as usual, welcome back to the Jack Watley Discus Hatchery. I'm Gabe Posada. I realize you guys want more, 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 but remember, we got to clean, clean, clean. So, welcome to the Jack Watley Discus Hatchery again. Thank you for coming. Don't forget to look us on every facet, because we're out there. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, and we're at watleydiscus.com, where we're going to preview this uh, RO unit for $150 delivered okay take care guys pleasure having you again